Hello everyone, this is Raph from Olfax Gaming. How are you all today? Uh, today we're going to be exploring the map called we the West Coast. If I get out, I can show you the West Coast. This is what the map looks like at the moment. Now, I'm going to go into the store and I'm going to buy some vehicles. Now, I have multiple mods installed. Um, I'm not going to link every mod down the bottom. But I'm going to link the mods I use. So I, don't, I think I'll use this particularly large army looking truck. Now, as you might, uh, you only get $25,000 when you start here, but as I just sold all my vehicles to get a blank slate, we will be using that money. So I always like to get the bigger engine on these vehicles. Now, this was my first farming simulator I got on my gaming computer, um, but I have had 2015, but I probably won't ever do a video on that. And most of the vehicles I'll be testing will be in the cars section. Um, so you can see I have lots of mods in here, one of which will be the Land Rover Defender, which I like to put a roll cage on. Now, hopefully you don't have the FPS up in the corner. It's just um, something I need to watch. Because I do not have the best graphics card in the market. Of course, we're going to get Gator. I haven't actually done design to. So, yes, I'll take that. Thank you very much, store. I'm going to do the... A Mercedes Benz G65 AMG 6x6 series, which is quite an expensive vehicle in the game. But of course, oh yes, of course, I'm going to get this um, Polaris RZR 1000. And I might even buy the Tesla to do another test. Okay. I will. Just get one more vehicle, which I can remember being in here somewhere. Ah, there it is! But I don't have enough money, so we have to sell something first. Oh, we just skip it for another day. Oh right, well, um, I think we don't think we need any more vehicles. I'll go ahead and just get all the vehicles back in the spot where I want and I'll get you guys there in one second to the power of video editing okay as you guys can now all see we've got the Tesla, the Polaris, Mercedes-Benz, John Deere, Land Rover and the 8x8 all lined up now I will walk you guys through the course I have to somehow get up here. Now I will put it in run mode. Come around here. Oh, let me just collect these nuggets. Because I started the map again, it's telling me all that. I have to go up all this, pretty much following in this dirt path. I have to get over this bump, and we'll be going out into the. It has to go all through here, and it's gonna gonna be showing the suspension. Um. I'll have an the outside camera view, and we're going to be seeing how well it does. It has to be able to cope with this slight incline, and also it needs to be coming down over here on this slight incline too, and make it up this part of the hill up here, up over all those bumps. Um, pretty much roll down and then comes down here around this corner to now there's an, another part of the mod it's a mod map how the computer works comes down here there's a dog that runs up good boy and the farmer's here can walk right through them at the old chum and then they finish here so I'll now go into the first vehicle, which is the 8x8. Let's see 
what challenges this will face. Quite a large vehicle. And I just hit a sign. Let's try that again. Now, we're going to have to go around all the way through this way. Turn it around. And now, yes, you may also know I have a steering wheel. It's a Logitech G25. Now, let's watch this Bertha climb through this area. I'm going to try and keep it within like the 20 30 range or under. Okay, this is the big suspension part. Let's watch this. Well, it's doing pretty good with the suspension. Yeah, a little muck up there. It's not the best suspension for a truck, but this mod is okay. Turning around here, we have to face this incline now. Oh, will it go? Will it? Oh, will it tip? No, it's sturdy enough to not tip over. How about we just leave it on this side of the vehicle and watch it almost tip there? I'd be scared if I was actually having to drive this. Oh, that one was close to a tip over. Now you can see some of the time the wheels do leave the ground. Now let's reverse and do that again. There we go. And the dog doesn't actually cause a collision, but neither does the farmer, mind you. Just come down here. Uh, hello, old chum. And we're coming to this other field. Stop. Or oh, crash into a pole. Turn the engine off and go into the Land Rover. Let's see. Will the Land Rover Defender do any better? And I might just uh, put the microphone off for now and uh, hope you guys watch let we'll let you guys watch the rest of the video with some calming music in the background
So there you go, guys. That is the off-roading test. Now, sorry about there's probably going to be a big cut between the Tesla one because the software I'm using doesn't really like me going over 10 minutes of recording, which I did. But you saw the Tesla is really bad offering, so I wouldn't ever recommend buying that in real life for an off-roading. The Polaris, though, yeah, does okay. Got the wheels out a bit, but that um, Sage Spence definitely wouldn't do the best off roading, but you could do mild off roading. This 8x8 eight eight just nailed everything, really. Did, did almost tip, but as a service truck, it's pretty good for off roading. But the Land Rover, yeah, with those pretty cool suspension. If I can get you there, right there. Yeah, you can see it down there. And the John Deere definitely don't use that for off-roading tasks on the farm. But it does hold stuff. as one fastening fastening belt. But yeah. Well guys, that's my review of these six vehicles. I'll put their links down below for you. And please like, comment and subscribe if you're new which you probably all will because this is a pretty much new channel. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Bye for now.